This mini lecture focuses on global climate change and how it impacts sea ice and glaciers across the earth. So there's two different types of ice bodies that we would think about on earth. There's sea ice, so the Arctic is um, sea ice, it's ice that's floating in the ocean and as this water melts, as this frozen water melts, it doesn't change sea level um, the sea level because the ice is already in the water. So that's important to note because this is a source of misconceptions for many students. So when sea ice melts, it does not change sea levels. However, when glaciers and ice sheets that are on land melt, that water then moves from land into the ocean and that leads to sea level rise. So there's two different types of bodies of ice on Earth that we're concerned about. Um, we're concerned about summer Arctic sea ice and Arctic sea ice in general um, because it's, it's decreasing very quickly and the sea ice is a, an ecosystem so it's a source of hunting grounds and it's very important for different wildlife in the Arctic that depend on the sea ice. So seals and polar bears for example that come out of the water to rest and sun themselves and then go back into the water. And so we're seeing that as the summer, um, the summer Arctic sea ice in particular is declining very, very quickly, polar bears are drowning because they, they don't have an iceberg. They can't swim from iceberg to iceberg to hunt, and so they, they drown in between icebergs. So summer Arctic sea ice has declined three, to three times faster than it was originally projected by models, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, it's predicted that within the next 50 years there will be no summer arctic sea ice and so what does that mean for the wildlife to, that depend on it um, another thing that we another issue that we have is land-based glaciers and ice sheets so that would include um, glaciers that reside in the arctic but also that's the antarctic ice sheet and the ice sheet in greenland and so these, the Green, Greenland and Antarctica are the two major, major sources of land-based ice and glaciers that we're concerned about when we talk about sea level rise. These are also melting more quickly than we originally thought they would, um, and they're disappearing at a, a quick rate. When we look at the land-based glaciers in the Arctic, places like Alaska and Canada, these glaciers are disappearing um, very quickly and they're, they're, when they disappear it's called the, they're retreating. So that means that the, it doesn't mean that the ice is physically moving uphill, it means that the ice is melting from the bottom of the glacier and it, it makes it appear that the glacier is traveling uphill just because the ice at the bottom is going away. But the glacier is overall getting smaller when it's retreating. Glaciers are really important uh, for ecosystems in the Arctic because they store water and then they provide meltwater in the summer for these ecosystems and so this meltwater is critical for fish and then other animals and plant life in the area that depends on water throughout the summer when there may not be a lot of precipitation. And that's a, a really important issue we see in places like Glacier National Park in Montana where the, the glaciers were a major source of water for those eco ecosystems and um, many of the glaciers have disappeared completely and they're not providing that melt water during the summer. Uh, we talked about the fact that uh, in the Arctic we see that seals, fish, polar bears and other critters depend on sea ice to provide their feeding grounds. So let's talk about this um, why we're seeing a decline in, in ice more quickly than models originally um, thought. Um, one reason for this is because um, if you look at ice, if you're able to look at an image of Earth from, from space, ice looks like a very white reflective surface. But when, you, when that ice goes away, what it leaves behind is a darker surface. It may be water, which is darker than ice, or it may be rock or even vegetation. These are all darker surfaces, and so they absorb more heat from the sun. And so we refer to that as albedo. Albedo discusses how much heat is reflected back to the um, 
outside of the atmosphere versus how much gets absorbed with, within our atmosphere. So ice reflects radiation from the sun. It has a high albedo, but water, rock, and veg vegetation, they all absorb heat. They have a low albedo. This causes what we call a feedback loop. And a feedback loop means that as you, as you have more melting of ice, you're going to have more surfaces that absorb more heat, and that leads to even faster melting of the ice. And so as that, that threw off the models because those models originally weren't predicting um, that quite such a sh big shift in albedo. And so now we know that the melting is faster than we had originally thought.